everyone welcome to another tag along I am working on a little art journal page that's going into a purple journal I've already made it and um, I'm going to work in that journal uh, for the next coming uh, videos I think I might I don't know <laughs> we'll see so I'm using uh, a mix of acrylic paint from Amsterdam and Americana in these beautiful colors and these pages are only uh, one layer um, pages so no modeling paste or whatever uh, I can use to thicken it up, uh, thicken it up or uh, how do you call that um, make it bulky I don't want that in this journal so um, I am uh, using a twisted citron here to go over the whole page um, and the acrylic uh, access and resist and I used Adirondack ink so that um, doesn't resist it so I don't mind it, it makes it fade in places where I needed it to I wanted it to oh, that's not true I, I didn't plan it I didn't think of let fade there and then just do this I, it just happens I have to be honest otherwise you will think that I'm brilliant at this <laughs> so um, I don't think I just do and then see where it takes me so um, I sprayed with a little water and um, just uh, well use the tissue to um, dry it again then I'm stamping this beautiful owl stamp I didn't know where I was going with this little page but I really didn't know that I wanted to use those that owl so I'm stamping with uh, that pumpkin color from Stays On, and it was too light in my opinion. So I tried to use the same uh, Stays On to paint it, but that doesn't work. That Stays On does not work to paint with, but the Adirondack does, as you might know. So um, I'm just using that to uh, emphasize the tree a little bit more, and you can see how pretty that looks. Um, I use the color Granberry to do so and I go around the owl as well now and while I was doing this I was thinking on what to do next so I thought okay why not do a face just what I like to do so um, I, I drew shape big head a lot of hair you'll see that and I thought okay I don't like that at all so I'm going in with this, uh, this little stencil and I use that throughout the page and I really want this journal to be um, how do you call that uh, organic just to let it go and just not that neat and it doesn't have to mean anything and well that's it so I thought Renya you are too meticulous you are too neat and her hair is too uh, pretty I don't know <laughs> I didn't, didn't want that so I use the stencil on the whole of her hair and uh, you'll see what happens next and I thought the colors are too neat and no it doesn't look right so I went in with the pink uh, from Americana and with a little bit of gesso and then I thought okay no it needs to be just do so use my fingers again and I use the the paint to go over the page this side only bringing it a little bit to the left and then that uh, did tone down her hair a lot and I really like that kind of like she was in the mist or something <laughs> so I'm using that little stencil everywhere and just started doing and uh, using green and, uh, and uh, a little bit of pink and I just I just did <laughs> so going in with um, this is oh, kind of like a salmon the color salmon color pe peach color and um, that look more like a face but still you know what I want to say next this is to neat it looks like a real girl I don't need a new girls I just want a fantasy girl with fantasy colors in her face because I like that and that's what I'm doing so um, I made the tone down a bit 
with the color and um, went in with my pencil. I did this several times. Didn't show that on the video, but believe me, I think three or four times, drawing and erasing it. This is just a regular pencil, uh, drawing pencil. And then I thought, oh, her face is too wide, so it needs she needs a smaller face. So, and then she looked mad. Don't like mad girls. Sad girls, happy girls, that's good, but mad, no. So I go in with um, the colors, and I thought, okay, you wanted different colors? Go in with different colors. So use the colors that are on the owl and around, uh, behind the tree. And uh, that made it look a bit better. Well, doesn't look good right now, but it will be. <laughs> and um, then I went in with this um, uh, fine nib pen. And I really like that. Uh, made it stand out a bit more and I instantly saw where I was going with it and what I didn't like about it but it came together it looked kinda pretty so I went in with that Carabella stamp again to bring the ba black back and what did I do next oh I looked at her for a while <laughs> and then decided that she needed to be reddish pinkish so go in with another layer and I believe that all those layers make the face pretty in the end so it is not a waste of time it's just the process so go in with gesso use my fingers to smear it and um, I still wasn't happy with the way it was looking so um, after I did this for a while, changed the colors, I'm going in with uh, just uh, watercolor pencils um, I'm using uh, Derwent watercolor pencils and you see what happened, I used orange, yellow, red and a bit of pink and that made it look quite nice well, in my opinion. So, a bit more red on her lips, a bit of yellow, and then it made it look a bit better. I made her head a little smaller, as you can see, and um, her eyes blue. And then I just left her uh, because I needed to think on what to do so I went to the owl and I uh, made him look prettier as well he was just fading away just a little bit because of her bright red face so I went in and I colored him as well with the pencils and then I wanted to bring that blue back around her face that blue that it was already behind the tree and uh, so I used this stencil again and in the end I'll show you pictures because I didn't tape everything that I am going around those shapes not all of them with a white marker and then do some splattering and uh, I just outlined the whole page and I thought it was done so I'll show you the pictures now so this is the end result um, I already put her in that journal that I told you about that you might uh, want to see if you want to see it it's on my blog so this is it everyone and uh, thank you for watching again and uh, I'll see you next time bye 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 bye